Hey guys, it's Brian. I'm getting ready to cross this kind of crazy, crumbly quantum bridge. Whoa. Whoa. Looks like there is some crazy stuff going on here, and that is the result of the quantum block, which is what I wanted to show you guys a little bit about today. To do that, I'm going to drop down a crafting table here and let's start making some stuff. So if you saw the previous tutorial, you learned about observer-dependent blocks, which are blocks you can create using uh, quantum dust that makes an item called Essence of Observation, and then arranging blocks in the crafting grid to create a block that, uh, depending on how you look at it, does different things. The superposition uh, essence is another essence that you can create. It's made by combining four units of quantum dust, like so. And that yields essence of superposition. Essence of superposition is the key ingredient in the quantum block. Superposition in quantum mechanics refers to the idea that quantum systems like sub certain subatomic particles, for example, can be in a combination or in really in all of their states simultaneously until observed. The essence of superposition works simil similarly to the essence of observation. If I put that in the center slot of my crafting grid, and then arrange other blocks around it, I will create a quantum block that can take on the properties of the other blocks I'm using in the crafting recipe. Now if you saw the previous tutorial with the observer dependent block, you saw that each of these slots in the crafting grid corresponds to a particular direction. So for example, in the again in the observer dependent block, if I looked at the block from the north once it's placed in the world, it would be magenta wool as indicated by this slot on the crafting grid. The observer dependent block, uh, that's how that one works. The quantum block works a little bit differently. So let me make one and I'll show you. The quantum block, if I place it in the world, will, much like the observer-dependent block, resolve to something. But if I let it go unobserved again, what it resolves to is a random event. So again, when I'm not looking at it, it's in a superposition of all of its possible states. But when I do observe it again, it will resolve and it's random. I can look at it in the same direction multiple times and it may or may not change to the item indicated in the crafting recipe. So let me show you how that crafting recipe works. In this case, it's not the particular location in the crafting grid that matters. It's the axis. So we have a north-south axis. We have an east-west axis. And we have an up-down axis. If I observe the block, from either the north or the south, for example. It may resolve to light blue wool or yellow wool on a particular observation. Same thing on the east-west axis, either lime or pink, so on and so forth. I'll show you one other neat thing uh, with these blocks, which is if you want to, and this will work with both the quantum blocks and the observer-dependent blocks, you can actually see the superpositional state. Uh, we use an item called quantum goggles to do that, and to make those you need two panes of glass and some quantum dust in the center slot, and that lets you make quantum goggles. If you equip the quantum goggles in the helmet slot of your armor, you will be able to view the world in its quantum states. And so there is that block, and I'm not actually causing an observation of it right now, but I can see that it exists. Now if I walk with these goggles on, back over to our bridge, what you'll see is the surface of it was made up of these quantum blocks. And when we made them, we made them using a combination of uh, stone and gravel, and because gravel falls when it's unsupported, uh, it respects gravity, and so do, do quantum blocks that take on the properties of the things you make them with. Sometimes when I would look at the bridge, random pieces of it would fall away. Now I've got my goggles on right now, so I'm actually seeing the superposition and not causing an observation, but if I were to remove them, 
you can see in the backgrounds those blocks just fell away and if I look at some of the others down at the other end of the bridge they're changing as well so this is kind of fun and a neat way if you want to be a little bit cagey to create some interesting puzzles or maybe even traps for your friends just be careful that you don't do this yourself